Hello everyone. Have you ever wanted to feel absolute freedom in untitled boxing game? Well you are in luck. Let me introduce you to the freedom style. Now this style, is probably the hardest style to use in the game. And as a warning, if you do want to use the freedom style, it is gonna require you to be pressing a lot of buttons. And it's gonna be very hard to use on mobile. Anyways, without further ado. Here is how you use freedom. The freedom style has three modes. Flicker, Smash and Whirlwind. Each mode has its own upsides and downsides. And I will be going over each and every mode on this video, so that you guys have a clear understanding about each of them. And hopefully with this in mind, you can know when and where you are supposed to use these modes. Let's start with Freedom's Whirlwind mode. On this mode, you have access to the swayback, very low block damage and average health damage. You also have the weakest heavy attack in the game, that is boosted counter damage, and its main selling point, insane mobility. By insane mobility, I mean that on whirlwind mode, your dashes have no end lag, and your movement and walk speed is the best in the game. In short, the whirlwind mode will probably be the mode you should be on most of the time. With whirlwind mode's mobility, dashes and sway back, he can pretty much dominate the neutral game. This is because, on this mode you are basically impossible to catch. And you have an easier time perfect dodging attacks with your sway back. And your insane walk speed will also be a very big help if you want to whiff punish opponents. Next mode is the smash mode. When you are on this mode. Your M2s change into smashes. You have above average block damage on all of your attacks, and that includes both your M1s and M2s. Your M2 damage does above health damage. But your M1's health damage is abysmal. In short, this mode is what you will probably be using the least. You should only switch to this mode if you do a perfect dodge. For you to land a smash whenever you perfect dodge. Oh yeah, smash modes M1s are arguably the worst M1s in the game because it does no health damage at all if they are blocking. And does very low health damage if they don't block. Only redeeming factor for his M1s is the block damage they do. Which believe it or not, is capable of breaking anyone's guard with an M1 chain besides turtle without even stamina breaking. And even Smash, who this mode is based out of can't do that. And the last mode for this video is the Flicker mode. During this mode, you have Access to Flicker jabs, which means your range gets increased heavily. Whirlwind's M2 without the counter damage bonus. Below average block damage but above average health damage. And very bad movement speed. In short, this mode is what you should be using the most when you land an M1. This is due to the fact that the flicker jabs do insanely high health damage through your opponent's block and can easily demolish your opponent's health. Even though it does low block damage. Although controversial, you can switch to this mode when you land any M1 and then pausing a bit, and then switching to flicker mode. To continue your M1 chain with flicker jabs. There are some mixed opinions on this technique being a bug, or it being intentional. Anyways, let's do a quick recap. Whirlwind mode should be the mode you are always on when you are on neutral. Smash mode should be the mode you should always switch to when you perfect dodge. And flicker mode should be the mode you should always switch to when you land an M1. Now for some tips. Tip number 1. Did you know that you do not necessarily need to do the action to switch to flicker or smash mode? You can switch to these modes while blocking. You do this by pressing their corresponding key while blocking. For flicker mode you use M1 while blocking, and for smash you press M2 while blocking. If you switch while blocking instead, you don't need to actually throw out an M1 to switch to flicker mode or M2 to switch to smash mode. Tip number 2. Both flicker mode and smash modes M1s have no end lag. So do not be afraid to throw them out when needed. Because if you do fail to hit your opponent with it, you could just run away easily. This is not the case with Whirlwind's M1s though, Whirlwind M1s have significantly more end lag compared to Smash and Flicker modes M1s. Tip number 3. Always put modes on standby. As mentioned earlier on the video, you should always be on Whirlwind mode on neutral. But did you know that you can actually switch to Flicker mode anytime and anywhere, even if you are on Whirlwind mode? This is especially deadly for freedom because, you can just dance around the opponent's reach with Whirlwind's insane mobility and movement speed. And the moment they miss an attack you instantly switch to flicker mode to reach them from far distances without even needing to use the block switch technique. How you do this is simple, after switching to whirlwind mode. Hold block, and press M1. This will keep your flicker mode on standby. Even though you are on whirlwind mode. Anyways, always remember that when you are using freedom. You are very, and I mean very prone to damage. 
because of your below average block and below average health. So work on your defense before even trying to use the freedom style. And yeah that's how you use freedom. And before I end this video, which style should I make a how to use next? Anyways, that's about it for me. See you guys on the next one. Peace.